Dear Exodus Guy, one day I heard about your organization and I decided to give you a letter from me. The letter was about me and it was a gift to you. It was a gift of appreciation to show that helping humans that are repeatedly raped and then sold to others to be repeatedly raped again is a good cause to stand up for and to thank you. I was trafficked at age 12 and the letter was entitled My Trafficking Story. I thought you would take the letter and be inspired to do more to help others. But you didn't. You asked me to come back to your organization and to go through your restoration program to fix me that I couldn't possibly be okay because of what I went through. And you offered me trauma certified accredited counseling through your counselor on staff, Keisha Hatfield. But that was a lie. She was a recent college graduate who was working on her hours under someone I have no idea who um, and was in no way experienced enough or certified enough to work with human trafficking victims. I listened to Keisha's therapy for about six to eight months before I was deemed the first graduate of Exodus Cries Restoration Program. The sessions with Keisha led me to believe that Exodus Cry was my new family. After finishing the Exodus Cries program, I wrote for you on your blog with no benefit to myself. My words from my blog and my words that I would write um, were on, from my experience, were on merchandise and people wearing t-shirts of my reflections. This was of no benefit to me. To me, I was a mobile human trafficking victim that could give Exodus Cry credibil credibility and publicity, and that was of no benefit to me. I spoke at churches with Benji. My husband was not allowed to come. That was of no benefit to me. I spoke, I was asked to speak at IHOP KC. I did. My husband couldn't come. It was of no benefit to me. Again. Benji, you interviewed me countless times with your film crews and media and exes cry staff. My husband couldn't come or know where I was going. This was of no benefit to me. Keisha, you made me believe that my husband was bad for me while I was pregnant and married. You wrote a fake letter of separation to him from me. You put us through the test of faith and we are still together. It went as far as, Keisha, you legally adopting me after I was married and I had this baby. You legally adopted me and made me believe that Exodus Cry was my family and he was no good for me. Blair, you aimlessly followed Exodus Cry, Keisha, and Benji around promoting them every chance you could get. You never listened to me. This was of no benefit to me. Keisha, your lack of professionalism and unethical practice, no matter what Benji told you you could do, hurt me and all the girls that came after me. You chose Exodus Cries organization over your oath as a therapist, as a future 
therapist and led us all horribly wrong. We are led out into the world now, undiagnosed, misdiagnosed, and not able to identify with ourselves anymore. All of us. Lastly, Keja, Benji, all of Exodus cries, condemnation and threatening of my marriage to my husband, Jonathan, the father of my children, my first only and last will ever be marriage um, was the saddest part for me. Benji, you are thirsty for fame, not restoration or redemption of those in pain. If your Christian Bible says, let the redeemed say so, I will never say as such because no one was redeemed nor restored through Exodus Cries program. My family and others were torn apart by your mission to save women and children. No one was saved, but I learned how not to drown. So Exodus Cry gained with no benefit to me. And I'm the one who wrote to them my human trafficking stories.